Him. Alongside me, Coach Steve Gombella. Coach, how do you sum up those 90 minutes? Very strange match. One where at the end of it you're saying, OK, you lost by five. But one thing that must be complimented is that Celtic took their chances. Each time we committed an error, we got punished. Committed an error, we got punished. And if you remember in the pre-interview, where we said any possession-based team has to counter-press, otherwise they're going to counter-attack. Classic example. For any coach or anybody who wants to look at possession against counter-attack and possession against counter-press would be a classic example. But compliment must be given to them. Coming out of the match, not being the Golden Arrows coach, I enjoyed the match. There are stages where you felt, okay, take away emotions and allegiance. Look at the match itself. Beautiful display of football. I think players enjoyed it. It's only that we wouldn't have loved, have loved to leave the stadium with, with a loss. It would have been nice if we... I anticipated a great comeback. As soon as we were 2-0 down, we tweaked things. Jackson kept them in a game. There was one after the other. I, I even thought it could have been man of the match. I'm sure it must have been difficult for your people in studio to choose who man of the match was. But compliment must be given to them. We have to dust ourselves and learn. We didn't lose, but we have to learn from this. Before I let you go, Coach, uh, you've got nearly two weeks now off before your next game. If there are some positives to take into that two weeks, that period before you prepare for Chipper United, what would they be? No, the way we play, our identity is clear and we play with confidence. Maybe one thing that we need to go work on, look at the video and, and, and realize that as soon as we lost possession, if we do not react quickly, what happens? And as well, when you build, when we make maybe a square pass, what happens? And again, as soon as we get to the ball, when we are on a counter-attack, transition or break attack, whatever you call it, it has to be the least number of players with very few passes and less touches on the ball. Then you break, which is what Celtic was doing. Each time they got the ball, they thought, they saw, they ran forward, the least number of touches penetrating. With us, I found us to having an extra touch. Eliminate those, not the end of the world. You gotta go again, but keep playing the way you play. It was a nice match, except the result. Coach, appreciate your time. All the best for the next uh, two weeks. We'll see you guys again on the 14th or 24th, rather. Yeah, the show goes on. Thank you.